Globally, there are 50 strikes of lightning every second. So there's a huge amount of it going on all the time. And this is concentrated in the tropics. And so what we think is happening is that lightning is striking trees and potentially killing these trees and releasing the carbon from them. We think it's the largest trees that are most likely to be struck. And these are the ones that store the most carbon, but they're also the ones that are important for the structure and biodiversity of these forests. And looking forward with climate change, the number of lightning strikes is predicted to increase and therefore the number of trees that may be killed could also increase. At the moment, rainforests are absorbing hundreds of millions of tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, really helping us in the fight against climate change. But we don't really know why they're doing this or whether this will continue in the future. So we're establishing the first ever free air carbon dioxide enrichment experiment in the Amazon rainforest, exposing mature canopies to colossal amounts of extra carbon dioxide and seeing how they respond. Do they photosynthesize more? Do they grow more? Do they use water more efficiently? And therefore, how will they respond during the course of the 21st century? And whether they'll continue to help us in the fight against climate change. We're seeing an increase in the number of fires due to the interaction between humans and drought. And so in years of drought, we see that there's, there's a doubling in the number of fires that you find in, in areas of humid tropical forests. As fire moves through these systems, it increases mortality, it changes the structure of forests, it changes the carbon cycling of the system, and it also changes the diversity of trees that we find within the system. My research focuses on how drought and temperature change affects the way that tropical trees work. And one of the biggest findings that my research has shown is that in the future, droughts are likely to affect the largest, most productive trees that transport the most water. And this is going to have the biggest effect on global climate change. So we're doing a lot more research to understand how tropical forests transport water and absorb carbon and how that will change as climate change occurs.
In the Met Office Hadley Centre, we use computer models to understand the workings of the global climate and to try and estimate the future consequences of us changing the climate. Uh, these computer models will uh, rep use mathematical equations to represent how the atmosphere flows, the ocean flows, how clouds, vegetation work and so on. Uh, we use these to project future global warming due to increased greenhouse gases. We also can use them to look at the effects of deforestation. We can artificially, within the computer model, remove parts or all of the tropical rainforests and look at what that does to the local and global climate. The models tell us that if we were lose the forest we would have an extra warming effect because of reduced evaporation which keeps the land cool, reduced cloud cover which again keeps the land cool and increasing emissions of CO2 to the atmosphere which would add to global warming. One of the most important measurements that we make in tropical forests is actually the diameter of the trees and their growth because from this measurement we can calculate the amount of carbon that's stored in tropical trees. And another really important measurement is the gas emissions from things like leaves, stems and roots because we can use these measurements to calculate photosynthesis and respiration from trees which are hugely important measurements for understanding how tropical forests regulate the climate. 